quickly, uh, if you'll share my screen, I can quickly give you the executive summary, <laughs> like this kind of like if you mm -hmm. if you if you have to give to the CEO, uh, CEO or somebody yeah. like an executive summary, like what are the bullet points that you need to know? Nothing fancy about yeah. the system is that module system is every cluster has their own software installed. Uh, it depends uh, on the cluster. But may, almost all of them use these modules to, to make it available for the users. So what are the modules? They're basically like a fancy way of like loading software. And mm -hmm. it, it, it's fancy on the bottom, like it's fancy for the, I'm going to say it, uh, in the, uh, the execution is fancy, but the usage is very simple. So like Richard in his uh, example had, uh, he had this module purge command. So that is good command to like make certain that I have no modules loaded. Uh, you can use module list to check if you have any modules loaded and then you can mm -hmm. run a module uh, load to load a module. And what are the modules? They are basically like shortcuts to different programs and every, uh, Every HPC cluster provides their own mm -hmm. uh, list of programs. So we have a bunch of programs here in the applications page. Uh, we have a huge bunch of programs. CSC has a huge bunch of programs. Other sites have a bunch of pro programs, lots of programs. Everybody installs them and they provide them via these modules. So it, let's say we want to load MATLAB. We want to have MATLAB available, available to us. In our system, we module load MATLAB. And if we now run module list, we have a MATLAB loaded. What does that mm -hmm. mean? It means that now we have MATLAB command available to us and we can run MATLAB. So uh, usually you just uh, have, you can look at the applications page for the specific application that you want to use and you can then uh, load the relevant module and use that application. It's it's as simple as that, basically. And uh, going to <laughs> to too much detail, it would be disservice to the whole system, I'd say. Uh, if you want to search for available modules, you can run module spider, and this will produce you with a huge list of software. <laughs> I guess you can or, module spider for a certain name somehow. Yeah, you can you can module spider, for example, MATLAB. <laughs> uh, and it will give you mat different versions of MATLAB mm -hmm. that you they are available. And or you can use this module avail to produce this list as well. Mm -hmm. uh, that will like be a big list of software. Uh, yeah. But uh, I would recommend before like loading some simple like some module. I would prob probably go to the documentation and check the application page if there's an, like, an example on how to use the specific mm. application. So, so uh, that's, that's that, the better way of doing it. We have in our information, where is it? Under Triton, we have a whole application section which lists many things which need special instructions somehow. Okay, so yeah, is that it for modules then? Uh, yeah, let's it, see. It, yeah, so, like the, the actual chapter has more information, more commands, like you can check various things, but really what you need to do is that if you want to use some program that we have already provided for you, and you probably should because we usually try to test them out and make them like as mm -hmm. easy to mm -hmm. use in the system as possible. So if there's such a program available, if the application page gives instructions, use that. If you can just load the module, try that. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then, uh, well, uh, play around with it and, and give us a hint or give us an issue if the software doesn't perform as you expect. Yeah. Uh, like it's usually a good idea to just run uh, like a quick search through the documentation or the module uh, avail to check if there's available software. And if, if it isn't there, then uh, yeah. let us know if you want it to be installed by us or if you want help finding. Yeah. 
what about if something's not in module? Like, is module the only way of getting applications? No, of course you can install applications yourself, like many people do it. But usually, like especially the more complex the application, uh, the harder it usually is to install. And and some applications are really hard to install. So that's why we try to provide them centrally so that it uh, helps everybody and nobody like uh, people don't have to like hit their head mm -hmm. uh, in the brick wall installing. And we we can do the heating uh, yeah. ourselves. <laughs> Uh, but of course, you can install a software yourself as well uh, as yourself. Yeah. I think I remember one person yesterday in the icebreaker question, they said they wanted to use Singularity on Triton. Mm. Should we talk about that now or later? Maybe uh, maybe later? I think, yeah, I think later. Yeah. Like, like that. that's an advanced kind of word. Yeah. Uh, if, if you're interested in that, I would suggest coming to the garage mm -hmm. <laughs> that's probably the easiest yeah. way like because the, it, it becomes like a advanced stuff yeah. immediately like we do have pages on singularity and with what you're mm -hmm. learning now you should be able to read that page and do it pretty quickly 